Hello, what is going on everybody? I'm gonna make this video today to talk about some surging sparks. Today is October 30th, so just a couple days before the official release. Um, early release for surging sparks is gonna be November 4th, which is next Monday. And the actual big box store release is November 8th. So we're just about a week away from the full release of the set of surging sparks. And I gotta tell you, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, we have seen some pr crazy, crazy price increases happening over the last couple of months here, or weeks here since it got announced. And I just wanna talk about that a little bit. So at the very beginning, when Surging Sparks was first announced, you know, you see Pikachu on the front of it. Everybody's starting to go crazy because it's an actual, you know, big character that's gonna be on the front. It's more mainstream. Maybe it's gonna start attracting people that um, have never collected before or more casuals because it's just more relatable Pokemon that are going to be included in this set. I don't really know, but at the beginning, our booster boxes and Canadian prices, we initially put our pre-orders out on the site, $147 Canadian. Okay, soon after that, uh, we stopped our early bird specials. We went to $149, which is our anticipated regular pre-order price for the box. But over the weeks, we have just seen price increase over increase over increase over increase. Uh, we went up to $159, then we went up to $169, now today, as of today, we're at $174.99, and I don't think it's going to be done. I think it's going to keep going up, um, especially maybe one or two more times before the release next week, and then maybe even after the release. So we're already at $174 pre-order price for Surging Sparks booster boxes. I don't think it's done there, but I have never seen anything happen like this for a Pokemon set. I've never seen a Pokemon set increase this many times before the launch. I don't even think I saw this for $151, um, and I've definitely not seen this happen to any other Scarlet and Violet set so far. Um, so some crazy stuff is going on with Surging Sparks, and I just want to talk about maybe why. Um, first of all, there's some really big pull cards in here. Um, you know, we've got the Anticipated Pikachu, the EX, the SIRs. We've got Latios, Latias. We've got Lise, uh, Lysia's Appeal trainer card. So there's maybe, you know, six, seven really good chase cards that are happening that are coming out of the set for Surging Sparks. The PvP side, um, from what I can see so far, we've done a pre-release last week. Uh, the PvP side seems to be a lot of fun. There could be some big changes happening to the meta as well. So that's going to be pretty cool. So there's those two factors. But I mean, what's really going on here? So first of all, word in from our suppliers. Every supplier has been saying the same thing. They're saying that their allocations directly from Pokemon are being cut. Um, they think that there's a limited print run happening in Surging Sparks. That doesn't mean that there isn't going to be more prints later on down in the future. But as of right now for the initial launch, the word is, is that the, the print runs are a little bit lower, so there's gonna be a little bit less supply out there. Um, from what I've seen with the pre-releases that we've had in the store, as well as some pre-releases that I've heard about from other stores, the pull rates on the chase cards are really, really low. Now we've only had our, um, the build and battles for the pre-release, and we've had a couple prizing boosters that we've given out. From what we've seen, we haven't seen any of the big hit cards get pulled yet. So this could be an early uh, representation of that the uh, the pull rates are going to be really, really low for, uh, for Surging Sparks for the chase cards we're trying to get here. Um, there's the signature characters, right? The ones I just named off, the Pikachu, the Latios, Latias. Those are also probably contributing factors. It's probably pulling more people on the um, casual level to start collecting some Surging Sparks on this one. And this is also the last release of a major block for Pokemon before the holidays and Christmas time. So I think all those factors is you know partially the reason why this set is going up so much. Why is there so much hype going on between... Uh, for Surging Sparks right now, but I'm not exactly sure there isn't a clear answer. All I know is that the prices are doing some wild things right now. This could be either a really good thing for Surging Sparks, either the long-term value of these cards are going to go and, and stay very high for very long until they just keep going up, or this could be a pretty scary situation where prices are going to go up really high, and then either a lot of prints are going to come after, or something else is going to happen and prices are going to drop for a little bit. Not really sure, it's too soon to tell. Um, but all I can say is the pricing so far has not followed any trends of any other Scarlet and Violet set that we've seen released so far. That's pretty crazy. So if you guys have any ideas of what you think might be going on, leave it in the comments and let us know.